uh, President Obama inserting himself into that French election. He held a phone call, a phone conversation with a French presidential candidate, Emmanuel Macron. Joining us now is the former U.S. ambassador to France. His name is Mr. Ambassador Craig Stapleton. Mr. Ambassador, welcome to the program. It's good to see you with us. Thank you for having me on. The news we got this morning was that Marine Le Pen is taking advantage of this latest terror attack. And she's suggesting that uh, she wants, to, wants France to expel terror suspects. Not somebody who's been convicted of a crime, but expel terror suspects. I put it to you, Mr. Ambassador, that this is how far France has come with this kind of threat hanging over them all the time. Well, another, another incident in Paris on the Champs-Élysées where, where a policeman was, was apparently killed is uh, right, in the, right in the heart of Paris on Frank, Franklin Roosevelt. Uh, there's a clear message uh, not only for the, for the French but for the, for the world that uh, the terrorists are at large. It's been a huge problem in France over the last couple of years and it uh, persists. Do you think it will push more votes towards Marine Le Pen? This, this is a very complicated election. It's, it's incredibly uh, uh, diverse. And there's the possibility of strategic voting. Le, Le Pen is certainly the law and order candidate. So that's, uh, 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 I, th I think that uh, if, if people believe terrorism is a threat, that will push votes toward, uh, toward Le Pen. It's anticipated she'll make it in, this, in the second round. The biggest issue is that uh, who, who would be the, who's going to be her opponent yeah. in the second round. Well, well, would you handicap it for us? I mean, you obviously got real knowledge of, uh, of French politics. Well, it's incredibly uh, complicated. There's four candidates remaining, all of whom are polling higher than 15%. If you get into the low 20s, uh, you, you know, you have a chance to, to win. It's very close because even the two top candidates won't get to 50, may not get to 50%. So all four remaining candidates have, have a candidate, including a now a far-left candidate, Mélenchon, and two more centrist candidates, uh, Fillon and Macron. But the, all, all, the, all, all these from, experts so, are saying that Marine Le Pen can't win. In the final analysis, when push comes to shove, at the end of the day, she can't win. What do you well, say? I don't think that she, if, she, if she wins and gets in the finals, she can, if you're in the finals, you can win. So that's a... Well, that's well give a, us a handicap. Do you think she... Is it a probability that no, she'll No, I, I, it's a probability that she'll get in the, in, the, uh, in, the, in the second round. I don't think it's a probability she'll, she'll, she'll win, but it's not. I would say she's, I, I, if I, as a betting man, I would say she's uh, two or three to one to be president. Okay. Uh, would you agree with this? If she is the next president of France, all hell breaks loose. European Union, finished. Euro, gone. Do you agree with that? Well, and it's, it's even it's more complicated than that because the French Parliament won't be with her, so she w so 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 it'll be a, it'll be very confusing for a considerable amount of time. And she hasn't had to take policy positions; she's been able to just take positions. So governing was is, is nothing she's planned for. Uh, I'd like to get your take on President Trump. He weighed in on the Paris attack yesterday. He's tweeted this morning. Here it is. Another terrorist attack in Paris. The people of France will not take much more of this. Will have a big effect on the presidential election. And he said yesterday on tape, he was saying, look, it just never ends. I think he summed it up pretty well. I think he summed up the mood in France. What say you? I think the I think the 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 the, the mood is there. They've had they've had a lot of, a lot of attacks. They haven't been coordinated, but there've been there've been so many of them now. You know, it's between five and ten serious attacks. Nice being the the worst, but Charlie Hebdo also being terrible. But these one offs are getting a lot of play. They take terrorism very seriously in in uh, uh, in France, and I think they actually do a pretty good job of of of, of controlling it. Albeit they've. Uh, They've shown vulnerabilities, but they've been one-off vulnerabilities. But they're, uh, uh, they're certainly working out. The Hollande government worked on it. The Sarkozy government worked on it. Uh, but there's, there's huge vulnerability as there is in the U.S. Got it. Uh, Mr. Ambassador Craig Stapleton, thanks for joining us, sir. We appreciate it. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Yes, sir.